Now to a story you'll see only on 13 News Now. A Northern Virginia family already dealing with tragedy was almost hit with another one over the weekend. They came to the Outer Banks to spread the ashes of a loved one, but the evening took a terrifying turn. Allison Basil talked to the local surfer who was saved the day. The Outer Banks beaches were Carrie Kane's happy place. She passed away a year ago and because of COVID, we weren't able to have any type of memorial for her. So that's where her family set out to spread her ashes. And we had also put my mom's ashes in the ocean there. Kane's sister Shannon Smith and about 40 family members gathered in Kerala to say goodbye on May 21st. It would have been her 43rd birthday. That's when my dad and my sister Kelsey and my sister Lauren and I walked into the ocean with the urn and it was a biodegradable urn. The surf was getting rough. Everyone got out, but Smith's father, Dennis Kane, saw the urn wasn't sinking, so he rushed into the waves. He did not want it to wash up on shore. Kane's younger brother and brother-in-law went in after him. For every 10 yards we got, he was 10 to 15 yards further. The two realized he was caught in a rip current and screamed for family to call 911. Fighting the waves, it seemed like a football field. It just looked like a long way. And I just remember standing there in just sheer panic because, you know, I'd already lost my sister and lost my mom. And my dad was out there in trouble. Without hesitation, a stranger who was putting away beach rentals nearby jumped right in. At that point, I turned around. I knew I had a board close by, went and got that. Adam Zaboyski pulled everyone to safety. Somebody uh, I didn't recognize racing toward the ocean with a surfboard. I just remember thinking, oh, please, God, get out there faster than we can get out there. The ordeal lasted 40 minutes. Zaboyski tells us he would have done it for anyone. You know, it sometimes brings me a little tear to my eye. So tell my girlfriend that. Not all heroes wear capes. Sometimes they have surfboards. And he definitely was our hero that day. For 13 News Now, I'm Allison Basil. The day after the rescue, Smith posted this photo of Adam and her father on Facebook praising the bravery. Since then, thousands of people have shared it. And by the way, we could have some rough surf again this weekend. Here's what you should do. If you get caught in a rip current, don't fight it. Experts say try to float to save energy. Don't swim directly to the shore. Swim parallel along the beach until you can escape. Remember, the current won't pull you under, just away from the shore.